Well guys, I think it's time to show you around St. Bernard State Park. So at St. Bernard State Park in southern Louisiana, you get partial hookups, but it's 30 and 50 amp and water. You get a picnic table and a nice concrete pad and all the, all the pads for your RVs are paved as well. You get a little grill and you also get a fire pit. And if you're really lucky, you get a log next to a big pile of fire ants and you get bit on the hand. It's actually a really nice campground though. It's been pretty quiet here the entire time. There is a train track you might be able to or a train you might be able to hear later on. It's not too far away from here. Unlike the last place though, it's not shaking our RV. It's just something we hear off into the distance. But as you can see, it's a beautiful place. There's actually a path through there, through the woods to get to the bathhouse. I'll show you the bathhouse later. Before we show you the rest of the park, we will walk along this nature trail they have here. It's the only trail they have that we know of, but we'll go check it out and see how it is. One factor of convenience is you do have these waste baskets throughout this park <laughs> to dispose of dog waste and as you can see for the most part all the sites are spread out fairly well and here's the nature trail how long is the nature trail like a mile long yeah, so not a whole lot of hiking at this state park but at least there's something to go for a walk get some exercise blaze is getting his beautiful pur purple booties on right now keeps the mud off of our rv in his feet. <laughs> Crazy dog. So now we all have boots on. Looks like there's a little pond over here. No gators that I can find. Probably good. And Blaze's first obstacle. Think you can bounce in between here, Blaze? Yep, looks like he survived. Good thing about it being chilly is I don't have to worry about the mosquitoes biting me because I'm covered with clothes. It's quite muddy though. I'm glad we wore our boots. Some beautiful wildflowers out here. Really is a nice nature trail out here. There's a creek running along the side over there. Look at these crawdad holes. Crawfish, crayfish, whatever you call them. I actually used to work at a crawfish farm back in Indiana. <laughs> Only worked there for a couple weeks. I think I was like in sixth or seventh grade or something like that. Here's an interesting little spot. Two walls over there. Looks like it led down to the creek or something. See if we can get around this mud. Nope, it's still muddy. And Blaze tracks right through it. Alright, which one of us is going to go first? Blaze? He doesn't want to go. Looks like it's really swampy up here. Look at that green water. Wanna go for a swim, Deanna? Okay. It is getting a little narrow through here. Mind the vegetation. Got some birds out there. So another little tidbit about this state park. The only thing I really have to say negatively about the state park so far is the laundry machines. <laughs> Washing did good, drying didn't really do anything at all. Luckily I was able to get creative with an impromptu clothesline <laughs> made out of tent stakes, or not tent stakes, but tent poles. As far as cell coverage goes at this state park, Verizon is definitely in the winter. We were able to use AT&T for work barely. I mean, Deanna used it and I mostly hopped on either the campground Wi-Fi or I even had to hop onto my phone as a hotspot for Verizon. So if you have Verizon, you're set. If you have AT&T, you might be able to work just fine. Campground Wi-Fi was okay. You can't really stream movies or anything, but you can definitely check social media and my goodness, it's muddy. Just like most campgrounds, we're staying here for a week and then we're gonna be heading west. This time up kind of the northwest side of Louisiana. So slowly making our way towards Texas. And for partial hookups, they do actually have a dump station here as well. It's kind of awkward though. You have to kind of pull into it. Like you're coming into the park, you do it. So you're, as you're leaving, you actually have to go do a UE somewhere to come back around to the dump station. Can't tell if that's like a dried riverbed or what. 
Yes, what are some of your favorite things about St. Bernard State Park? I like the proximity to New Orleans while still getting the nature feel because it took us about 30 minutes to get to the French Quarter. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're surrounded by nature. <laughs> well, the trails now is actually turned into like seashell slash rocks. So I'm sure Blaze isn't really enjoying it, but he does have his booties, so maybe that helps him out a little bit. And I guess on the other side of this bridge, it's a little island. You can also have picnics on. I didn't forget about the bathhouses. So the bathhouses are right up there, men's and women's. They do have showers and as I said earlier, they have laundry. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour around St. Bernard State Park here in Southern Louisiana. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like it. You can also check us out at gnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on.